Hi everyone. I'm gonna pull you guys up really quick. And see if I can share it. I always have the hardest time. There we go. All right. All right. I think I got it. And pull us up. Turn on my comments. Oops. Hey Debbie, how are ya? Okay. Um, so if you hear my, my printer going off in the background, sorry about that. Um, my printer and I have a love-hate relationship, and it is not printing for me today. So I've been trying to print something for like half an hour. And of course, it's doing its own special thing. So, if you hear it going off, I tried to cancel everything, but I don't know if I got it all. So, all right. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started and just go over some things. Um, don't forget, well, today is the first, so we can mark that one off. Good afternoon, Miss Vicki. Happy Monday. Um, this Saturday is the Columbia Creative Class, and it will be live on the, fa um, the Facebook page for uh, Simply Elizabeth. So, it'll just say Simply Elizabeth Crafts. If you are interested in watching over there. Um, hey Florence. And then of course we'll do a Facebook Live next Monday at 3 o'clock as well. With anything electronic. Oh, you know the funny thing is, is last night I printed something and it printed the first time. No problem. But then today I have tried to print several things and it won't print. I've downloaded the new software for it. I've taken it off the computer. I've put it back on. I don't know. Um, my husband says it's me, user error, <laughs> but I really don't think it is. <laughs> I think my printer just hates me and does not like to print ever. So when I go to print labels for sending packages, half the time it works and then half the time it doesn't. So I don't know. It's just crazy. I need a new one, but oh, they are expensive. And you can't find them right now because everybody's working from home. So you, you just can't find them. So anyway, or at least not the one that I want. That will be the same brand as my laptop, which then will, maybe I won't have as many issues. So who knows? I don't know. But anyway, so Columbia class will be this Saturday and then a Facebook Live again next Monday at 3 o'clock. And then... Um, next Saturday will be bingo. So I'm super excited about that. And I am working on cutting all of those packets and all that kind of fun stuff right now. Um, so still a joining special for, uh, for the month of February. It go, uh, correlates with celebration and will be over at the end of February uh, celebration will. So don't forget that if you're spending $100 a month, this is the perfect deal for you. It's always a perfect deal, but right now Stampin' Up! will give you, I want to say it's like 200 sheets a total of paper. And this paper is the paper that will be in the new annual catalog that will come out in June. It'll come out, it'll go live for customers in June. So so don't forget about that. And then 
Uh, spring retreat will be April the 17th, and I have an email that will be going out about that this week. So be on the lookout for in your email for that. It will be a to-go and in person. So you'll have those two options for whichever you decide to do. And then my favorite thing is coming. And actually we know that this is all Angie's favorite set, um, stamp set is the Hey Chick. So they are bringing Hey Chick back and then they are bringing dies to go along with it. And what we have in our current catalog is the Hey Birthday Chick. Well, they're gonna bring out some dies to match it. But the cool thing about this is I am, I revamped the club that I've had for the last six months and the very first stamp set we're gonna use for the club is the Hey Birthday Chick. So, what happens with the club is you will pay $39 a month and that club will include all of the make and takes for making the projects. It will also usually include an embellishment and then a bolter ribbon and then some paper, but it'll always include at least $20, if not more, in products every month and it's $39 that includes shipping and everything so the hey birthday chick here are the cards for the club for february and you have to pay the 39 dollars by february the 15th and then everything will ship out between the 25th and the 27th of every month so and then you've got that one that one and that one so I'm super excited about those cards. Now, a big thing is, because this does coordinate with the Hey Chick, um, what will happen is if you add on the Hey Birthday Chick and then also the Hey Chick to your club order, I will have a whole separate pack of make and takes. So you'll get five additional make and takes. And this is just a sample of one of the cards that goes along with the Hey Chick. So you'll get five though. Um, and then you'll also get, if you buy both of those and then you add on the all wired up stamp set, you'll also get an additional embellishment for free. That will all be in the email as well. So make sure that you're looking in your emails. And I think that is it for announcements. Yes, it is. So let's get started crafting because that's what you're all here for. And today we are going to be using the Kangaroo and Company. I love this set. It is so cute, kid friendly. It's awesome. Um, so our first card, we're going to make a card to start off with. It's going to be this one right here. And I've put all of the um, links for the measurements and the products used in the description of this video. So if you have questions on it, just let me know. All right, so we're gonna get started. And I've done a lot of the work for us since this is a color set. All right, so we're gonna fold our card base, give it a good crease. We're gonna, and I already colored the envelope on this one too. So, and let me grab my scissors because I'm gonna need those. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Coastal Cabana. This is Bermuda Bay. We're gonna take our Coastal Cabana and we are gonna stamp the back. We're gonna give it a background and it's gonna be the heart. All right, and I'm gonna grab a little block so that we can, it'll be easier to, to do that with. And then you're gonna use Coastal Cabana ink for this. So it's gonna to be tone on tone. And you don't have to put a lot. You can if you want. Um, but just kind of randomly put them. And in some areas, you'll be able to see them. They'll be covered up anyway. So you're really just kind of worrying about your outside area. Okay, I think that's good enough. So we're going to then take and attach this to 
Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and put on our strip of DSP. This is using the Snail Mail DSP. So we're gonna attach that. We're just gonna give it a little bit of a space over here on the right hand side and then just straight down. Then we're gonna take another piece of the snail mail and we're gonna attach it. And we're gonna actually line it up with the right side of the paper. So get it all the way to the edge. like that all right and then we're going to attach our piece of real red down here and we're gonna trim off the end um, and give it a flag using the I think this is the banner flag punch I haven't put the label on it yet so I need to do that though and then we're just gonna attach it right here at the end and it's all going to be flat so it's going to line up with that edge as well so now what we want to do is we can attach this now to our card base and we're going to use some stampin dimensionals get a good mini on there Take off our backings. And then line it up on our card front. And my card base is not even at all, so let me just fix that really quick. I apparently did not score it properly. Okay. Let's try that now. All right, so then we're gonna stick this on just like that. And then we're gonna take, you're gonna stamp your kangaroo and your flowers, and then you're just gonna color them in. And then I'm gonna stamp and color the flowers with you on this one. So I'm gonna grab a piece of paper to put underneath so that it doesn't go through to my table. So we're gonna use black memento and then we're just gonna, and this is for the inside of your card. And we're just gonna stamp right there. All right. Then we're just gonna take some Stampin' Blends and color them in. And I just brought my whole bucket over here so that I could pull it out. We're gonna go with real red and I'm gonna squat down to do this so I can see them. And let's do this one. Okay, I'll go ahead and do the leaves. That's gonna be in Granny Apple Green. Sometimes it's hard to see which are the leaves and the flowers in this one. Okay, and then let's do a Bermuda Bay one. One or two, we'll do the big one in the middle. And let's do that one, okay. And then we'll do Flirty Flamingo. We'll leave that and then I'm gonna leave the flirty flamingo out because I'm gonna show you something in just a minute on that one all right I'm gonna take the light daffodil delight and do the last two flowers okay now in this stamp there are lots of white spaces in between the flowers so I'm just gonna take the flirty flamingo because it's a light color and I'm just gonna kind of put it in those blank white spaces. 
just to give it a little color. And you can't tell that it's not a flower. So, all right. So now we're gonna get our mini cut emboss machine. And we're gonna run everything through it. I'm gonna put that right there. So we're gonna need our kangaroo. And that's gonna be too um, thick to go through, so I'm just gonna cut it in half, just like that. All right, so this will allow me to get all of it on there together. Okay, so we're gonna take our kangaroo and put him on. Like that. And then we will take our flower, and I believe it's this way, yep. Line it up. Maybe, there we go. <laughs> Apparently I have shaky hands today. Oh, and the flower just moved, so I'm gonna fix that before I run it through. So I'm just gonna run the kangaroo back through. Sorry for shaking the table. All right, let's just take that off and we'll just do this by itself. And did not like when I laid down that plate. Okay, there we go. All right, now one other thing I need to cut, cut out really quick is with the kangaroo. Hey, Miss Carol. When you die cut it, it actually creates a little slot right there. So we're gonna take a scrap piece of that white that I cut off, and we're gonna take this little funky looking piece right here, and we're just gonna die cut it. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you how you work that. All right, I'm gonna set this aside. Okay, so we're gonna take this little piece that we cut out, and we'll put these up so I don't lose them because I need them again. <laughs> um, and we're gonna flip over our flower and this. We're gonna put a little bit of, of adhesive on that piece. Then we're gonna stick it to the back of our flower. You wanna make sure you cover up all of that adhesive. Then you're gonna stick it right here in his pouch. And look, now he's holding a bouquet of flowers. That is so stinging cute. Okay, <laughs> I really have liked this set. I didn't think I would like it, but I do. You wanna make sure that you don't um, well, on this one, you actually can because we're not going to pull it out. But you can put a sentiment on it. And then um, whoever gets your card can pull it and the sentiment will be down at that bottom. So, but we're not going to pull this one out. So I'm going to cover it up with a dimensional. Okay. Okay. So now we're gonna stick this right here on the front of our card. And that red cardstock is just giving the kangaroo something to stand on. Now we're gonna take the snail mail twine. I love this. I've probably used it on most every project that I have been doing. We're gonna take the whisper white one and we're gonna tie a double bow. All right, and then we'll cut the ends off, get a glue dot. And then we're gonna stick it right there. And then we are going to take these amazing resin heart dots. 
or embellishments. And we're gonna put some on. So we're just gonna put three little white ones. And the sticky came off the back of that one. So we're gonna fold it over, there we go. All right. And then there, and there. Well, that did not work out so well. There we go. Okay, so there is card number one. Oh, let's actually put our inside in. All right. Okay, so there we go. And then make sure you do your envelope because it's always pretty to get a pretty envelope in the mail too. Okay, so our second project is gonna be this right here. And it's one of those slider boxes again, which I'm loving. So all this does is slide right open. You can put candy in it. You can put, well, candy probably is the best thing to give somebody, <laughs> but um, <laughs> thanks Miss Carol. But um, you can, there's all kinds of things that you can put in it. You could put like a little Debbie cake or whatever in it, so. All right. I'm trying to make sure I'm keeping everything organized over here. Okay, so let's put our box together. And I know I put this together last time on our Facebook Live because we did a different one, but we're gonna do it again. It doesn't take very long. So we're just folding on all those score lines. And then we're gonna pull these two in and then fold down. Then do the same for this side. And then the trick is to keep it all down. There we go. And then you're gonna fold that one in. Okay, and then we're gonna fold this one in, just like that. And then we're gonna take the outside and slide it right over. There we go. Needed a little force with it. Okay, so all we're gonna do here is we're gonna put adhesive on the back. And attach it to the front. It's gonna have a little white border around it. Then we're gonna put it, this is the Snail Mail DSP which I think I'm using more than anything else. I'll probably change up though after Valentine's Day. Um, you're gonna stick that right there. Then we're gonna take the Blushing Bride from that twine pack and we're gonna wrap it around three times and then we're gonna tie a bow. Let's see if I can tie it live. Ha! Huh. Not bad, not too bad. I struggled with it when I was trying to do it earlier, but not perfect, but it'll work. Okay, so. We've got that, and then I'm gonna adjust it down a little bit though. Let's make it, oop, wrong one. We're just gonna make it a little smaller. You don't want the string to get caught on other stuff. Okay, so there we go, good with that. So now you're gonna take and stamp your two kangaroos. This is the kangaroo that would fit in the pouch, so you don't need to stamp the full one. 
Um, but this is colored in cinnamon cider, and then this one is in crumb cake. And then we're just gonna cut it out. And we need to cut that piece again. And we're gonna cut scrap for later on. Then we're going to cut and then we'll run it through again for that other piece. It moved my thing again. Okay, let me try this. Hold on. Okay, this isn't liking me either. <laughs> Not today. My printer, <laughs> the mini emboss cut machine. All right, let's try this again. I might need a new plate. I have used it quite a bit. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put that piece on. Right there. Okay. All right, we'll run it through. And set that aside, we'll need it one more time rid of all the extra little pieces, move the dies so I don't lose them. All right, put adhesive at the bottom of your little kangaroo and then attach it to your piece. And then we're going to stick him in his mama's pouch like that. And then we're going to flip it over. I'm going to cut off a little bit of this one just because it's hanging down a little too much. Okay. Yes, it is a cute, cute kangaroo, Miss Carol. It definitely is. All right. So then we're going to put dimensionals on. Baby one for the tail. All right. And then we're just going to sit them right here over the twine. Okay, now we're gonna stamp our sentiment. So we're gonna take that scrap paper we put aside before, and we are going to take the hopping by just to say hi. We're gonna stamp it down here on this flat edge. Then I'm gonna take that little mini cutter I'm gonna cut it off. All right, so then we're gonna cut off this side like that. And then we're gonna stick a dimensional on the back of it. Put it right here just like that and the last thing we need to do is to add our hearts I'm gonna put a red heart 
right there. And then we're gonna put I think it's my, let's get my tool fixed here. Okay, and then one more right there. All right, so that is project number two. All right, let me move everything for this one. And we're gonna grab in the next one. The next one's gonna take a little longer, but I'm super in love with this one. And the reason for it is it actually does bring in several other stamp sets. Um, we're gonna also use the Woodland Wonder which is perfect with kangaroos. It's a bunch of little animals, right? And then we're just gonna use a die from the Ride the Range, um, and it's the hill die. Okay, and this is the project that we're gonna be making. That little happy birthday card using the baby kangaroo. All right, and I've done a lot of the cutting on this as well, so it'll make it a little easier for us. All right, so we're gonna fold our card base. And then we're gonna bring in our pear pizzazz and we're gonna actually lay it flat down onto our card base. And then on this, this is going to be our piece that our tree is going to be stamped on. So we want to kind of figure out where the grass is going to be. And then we're going to ink up our bottom of the tree trunk. And we're going to stamp that in black memento. And then we're just gonna kind of figure out where it needs to go and then stamp it. And we're covering up the bottom. You don't need the bottom. The hill is covering it up. And then we're gonna take our top. We're gonna line it up and then stamp it. All right, there we go. Now we do have to color this part. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my scrap piece of paper, move everything out of the way. I'm gonna bring in my blends. We're gonna color in the bird in the tree with some Bermuda Bay. Then we're gonna do his beak yellow. So let's do um, Daffodil Delight. Okay, then we're gonna take some dark crumb cake and our light crumb cake. And with the dark, we're just gonna go over these lines that are already on the tree. No reason to kind of create new ones. They are there already from the artist. And I'm not necessarily being too particular about it. Then we're gonna take the other, the light crumb cake. And we're gonna color it in. We're going 
to get all these extra little limbs. All right, and now we're gonna take Granny Apple Green. We're gonna do our trees. So the dark, we're gonna just go through and go down the center of each leaf where that line is. And then we're going to take the light and I'm, I'm crouching down. So if I'm shaking the table, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get a little closer so I can see it. Make sure I stay in the lines. concentrating sorry <laughs> I know I went silent there for a second all right getting closer to the end go. the leaves are the longest but it's so pretty okay done yay Okay, so now we are going to take and put our grass on. And we're just going to put it on there flat. No popping up of it. We're just going to line it up with the bottom and the sides. There's a little extra on that, so I'm going to take that little mini cutter and trim it off. Okay. All right. And then we're going to bring in our machine. Actually, nope. Before we do that, let's go ahead and stamp our happy birthday. And our happy birthday... Oh, you know, our actually, our happy birthday is from the um, Woodland Wonders. And I was trying to find it. Okay, so we are going to take the tip of this and ink it up. And then we're going to line it up down here like that. Okay, now we're gonna take and trim that with our mini cutter as well. Okay, so there's our little piece. And then we're gonna stick this through our die cut machine. So we need our baby kangaroo, we need our presents, and then we need a little hat. All right, let's see if I can make this work. Maybe if I hold my tongue and stand on one foot. The little ones are the hardest. Oh my goodness. I might need to get some washi tape. But I have to go find it because it's not in the drawer. And I went to go look for it earlier, so. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. And then our baby kangaroo. Okay, 
Don't breathe. Okay, I think it did move. I think I moved it, but whatever. It'll be fine. All right, so. We're gonna put this up. We should not need that anymore. And we're gonna build up our card. So we're gonna put our baby kangaroo on dimensionals. And I'm gonna cut the edges here. So we're gonna stick baby kangaroo there. And then we're gonna take his little hat and we're gonna put a glue dot on the bottom. And then we're gonna put a mini dimensional on the top. And it fits just perfectly. And we're gonna stick it like that. And then we're gonna add our present and we are going to put adhesive on the bottom part and then a dimensional on the top. And then we're gonna kind of set it like that. Okay, then we're gonna take and flag the end of our green, our little pear pizzazz piece. This is a little tiny one. So we're just cutting up the middle. Okay, and then I'm gonna trim off that end. And I didn't stamp it far enough, but it'll be fun. It'll just be straight. Okay, so we're gonna attach this down. I'm actually gonna use some, I put it on dimensionals before, but I don't really like that. So we're gonna just it here give it a little bit of glue there and I dropped it on the floor okay and then we're gonna kind of put it at an angle like that then we're gonna put happy birthday kind of straight across and we're just gonna add some adhesive And then we'll fold over whatever is sticking out on the edges of that adhesive. And I'm gonna stick it right about there. We're gonna trim off this end here like that. Then I'm gonna take the twine and I'm gonna tie a bow. trim off the end and then I'm going to attach it or I'm going to hold it right here on the edge out behind the happy. Then I'm going to take the scissors or the scissors, the stapler and I'm going to staple it on. Actually, let me just add a glue dot so it'll stay. It's hard to hold it and and staple it. Okay, there we go. Now we're just going to staple it like that. There we go. Okay, that worked. Okay, and now we're going to put it on dimensionals again, of course. Grab this. Ones that are already cut. Okay.
the dimensional backings are sticking to my finger today. I must have a lot of static. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna adhere this right to the front of our card base, just like that, and there you go. There is project number three. All right, I'm gonna move everything out of the way and bring the projects back in. Yes, it is definitely very hard to talk uh, when you are coloring, for sure. Okay. Project number two. And then project number one. All right. Now, if you order $35 from my online store using the host code that is in the description, you will get this make and take packet for free. So you would make one of each project. I, you obviously have to have the stamps in order to do it, but anything that is die cut will be cut for you. So um, if you have any questions, just let me know. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your Monday. See you later. Bye.